good youtube it's a girl jada bev and i'm back at it again with another video for you guys and today i'm going to be talking about my curly hair journey i guess because like my hair has been through every single stage possible like i'm gonna show you guys pictures and i think i have some videos too of how my hair was before and it's just a big I don't even know it's a big process honestly I don't regret it but then again it's like I kind of do but I first started dyeing my hair when I was 12 I was 12 years old and my favorite color is blue so what had happened was I was like oh, I want to dye my hair head blue <laughs> my mother was not having that first of all but she was like all right you could put streaks in your hair that are blue I said okay and here's a picture of my hair streaked blue Here's how it was when I first got it done and after that, all that happened. My hair was full and thick and long. Oh my gosh. I wish, I kind of wish my mother would have told me no. <laughs> because after that, I took off. I took off. When I said I to go off, I took off. I wanted to dye my hair a whole bunch of freaking colors. But I don't know why. But when I dyed my hair blue, it would like the color would wash away, whatever. And it faded into green. So I had a mixture of freaking blue and green highlights in my hair. And I remember I had a freaking blue patch of my hair in the back that was blue and it turned green. I was walking around looking like the freaking Grinch. And everybody was telling me, oh, Jada, you look so cute. Uh -huh. Oh my God, I want to dress in my hair. Y'all fake for that. Y'all fake. Honestly, only like a few people told me that my hair did not look good. And I appreciate y'all for that. And most of them are guys. Surprisingly. <laughs> Cause y'all girls was not telling me shit. Y'all was not telling me I look crazy. No, it was always the guys that were freaking telling me, Jada, you look, you don't look that pretty. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? All right, whatever. The following year, I had decided to dye my hair a uh, brownish um i was 13 now i decided to dye my hair it was, i was in seventh grade i decided to dye my hair um it was a brownish red color it looked really pretty actually i really like that color i was thinking of going back to that color recently but i really want this blonde to grow out and i really don't feel like cutting it I don't want to cut it and so i dyed my hair the reddish brown color and it came out really nice i really i love that color so much it made me look really pretty i really thought i was like that shit so everybody really liked that color on me like i really i really got mad compliments from that hair color and everybody was like oh i wanna i want my hair like yours like how did you do it and i'm just like i was like i don't even know i just found a freaking reddish color and a freaking brown color and then I just mix them together and then they that's how it just came out. Eighth grade comes. I wanted to dye my hair red. <laughs> when I tell y'all, I really wish my mother would have told me no. She freaking said, okay. We went and got the dye. We dyed my hair. I was about to be in eighth grade. So it was the day before that. So my hair was red. And then freaking my dad comes one day. He came to drop me off to school with my mom. 
and he looks at me and he's like what is this you didn't tell me you was doing this what is this and then all my mother i'm looking at my mother like You gonna tell him? Cause you the one that gave me permission to do this. And so she was like, don't worry, it's a washout. <laughs> yeah, washed out like a year later. <laughs> but then it started fading into like um, an orangey color almost. So then I was like, all right, I had to finish it out. <laughs> it's gotta go. <laughs> so then it was the it was that summer and I wanted to dye my hair again. So when I went to dye my hair, I went to do like a caramel color. And this caramel color actually came out cute. But the problem was my hair needed to be bleached for it. And that's when I was like <laughs> I was like, let's do it. And my hair just told me, like, this bleach is gonna damage your hair. And your hair was really, really pretty. And it's really thick and it's really curly and it's really fine. And so I didn't listen and I was like, just do it. So then she dyed my hair, she bleached it. And it was all caramel. I really, really like that color too. I got mad compliments of that color. Then a month later, I was like, oh. I want to add some blue to my hair. So then we added the blue to my hair. And it was mainly like on the inside though. And it was like some of it was like, um, so like this part was caramel and then like the insides like right here were blue. So then it was like that. And then as the months went by, my hair transformed from blue to, um, pink like i didn't even dye it i really i promise i did not dye it at all i'm gonna try to find pictures if i could but it went from pink and then it went to purple it went to a light purple and my hair was the top part was caramel but just the bottom inside of it was a whole different colors like my hair transformed i don't know how that happened but i was just like and once again, it was the females that were telling me, oh, you look so pretty, ha uh ha. -huh. And it was always the freaking guys that were like, Jenny, you look crazy. And I was like, thank y'all to the guys that said, that told me I look crazy. <laughs> okay, because mm, y'all really like helped me out in a way because I was thinking of it. So I'm like, so I really want to be looking crazy the rest of my life. No. So then, um, I decided to take a break from dyeing my hair for a while. And then, like, it was, my hair was going out. My natural hair color was coming in. It was like, at this point, the blue was gone. And my hair was just a caramel. And it looked like an ombre color because it was like, my roots and then it was the caramel it was really pretty i think and then um my 16th birthday was coming along and my dad was like oh you want to dye your hair again and i was like no but then the day before my sweet 16 i told my dad i want to dye my hair he looks at me like what I told him I want to dye my hair. He's like, okay, dude. <laughs> so then I'm there. I wanted to dye my. I wanted to be freaking looking like Khloe Kardashian with her freaking hair. The way it was, it was like a platinum blonde or whatever. But hers was like really like pretty. And like I wanted my hair like her, so I told my hairdresser like, oh, I want my hair like this. And she did it. Yo. My hair came out looking, um, 
I don't know what it was. It was like a grayish platinum color. And it still had blonde in my hair. But what made it look okay was because my roots were platinum blonde. And then it was like, I still had the freaking caramel in my hair. So that darkened it just a little bit. But it still looked kind of nice. And at first, I was not a fan of it. I was like, oh my gosh, I was crying. I was like, yo, my hair's a mess. I don't know what to do. But then it was like, oh, it's hard as I washed my hair out. It was looking a lot more better. It became to look like it was actually like blonde, like actually like yellow blonde. It was that. I was like, I'm not going to tell my hair anymore. Like, my hair was already damaged at this point. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Like, I really wasn't listening. And I was just dying my hair continuously over and over and over again. And then what made it even more worse was that I used to always go to the hair salon every freaking week. And I would straighten my hair. When I tell you my hair had heat damage and freaking bleach damage, whatever that's called, whatever. All at once, that was me. I had freaking blonde hair freaking every time i would leave my hair freaking out like without doing my hair straight i had my roots were like they were curly but then it's like the rest of this was straight and then over time like i started just to leave it out but then i realized like i'm looking really crazy because and then it started turning into waves but then it was like the bottom of it was so straight. And that's why I had like lots of parts of my hair that was straight and then wavy and then straight and wavy. And I was just like, I don't like this anymore. Like, this is a dub, bro. I was like, I gotta do something with my hair. Cause it's not, it's not working. Months go by and my roots are showing now. And my dad asked me again, you wanna dye your hair? I said, no, no, I stuck to it this time. I started to detangle my hair in the shower and then I started to um, put in um, sometimes, it wasn't all the time, sometimes I put in leave-in conditioner. And some days, a lot of days actually, I would just freaking, I stopped going to the hair salon, like completely. Like, I, it's been months since I've went. And it was just like, as, I, as tempted as I was to go and do my hair, I told myself, like, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. And then high school came along. I got extensions and my cousin, that's a hairdresser. She worked at the Diamond Palace on Southern Boulevard. I don't have the full address, but <clears throat> she's working on there. It's called the Diamond Palace. Go check her out after quarantine is over, of course. And she was doing my hair, and she told me that I should start using Dugro. Those are the products that I have used in my, that you guys seen in my previous video when I was doing my nighttime hair care routine. So I started using Dugro for my hair, and then I started to really use more of the leave-in conditioner that I had. And I actually tested out like a lot of leave-in conditioners and a lot of like sprays and a lot of um, shampoo and conditioners. And the shampoo and conditioner that really works best with my hair is um, Tresemme. Any kind of Tresemme that I use, that does wonders for my hair. I don't know why, but it's really hard for my hair to be managed when I use other products. But with Tresemme, my hair just works like freaking magic. <laughs> like, I really do love Tresemme for my hair. And like, a couple of days ago, I didn't have the Tresemme for my hair. And so my mother was like, oh, just use the... She has some kind of shampoo and conditioner there. Then I was like, okay. So I tried it out once. And that did not go good for my hair. My hair was not freaking trying to get detangled for nothing. My curls weren't like as there. 
excuse me. And I was just like, I need my chest on me. Like, please just give me my chest on me. So she went and got my chest on me. And when I used it, she was like, oh, your hair looks really nice. What is that? What did you use? And I'm like, that's my Tresemme. Like, I honestly recommend Tresemme to everybody. I mean, everybody's hair type is different, but you can never go wrong with Tresemme. Like, you see this? You can never go wrong with Tresemme. <laughs> and from when my cousin told me to use Do Glow, like, I have not stopped. That was in 2018. And we're in 2020 now. I haven't used Do Glow for like almost two years now. And I highly recommend it. Do Glow products and leave in conditioner. Honestly, those are the only main two things that I use in Trust in Me. That's it. And. With this, I really just woke up and just wet my hair. <laughs> like, some people don't believe me sometimes. They be like, oh, what do you put in your hair? I'm like, nothing. I just put water. They don't believe me when I say that. I just put water in my hair. But that's the truth. Like, I really just be waking up and then I just be putting water in my hair. And that's it. That's how my hair is going to look like this. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video like this video comment down below subscribe to my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video subscribe to my channel comment down below <laughs> and i will see you guys in the next video enjoy your quarantine guys <laughs> bye